Once you've completed the basics and the geotargeting, the last necessary step in the general settings is to set your budget and your default bid price. The max CPM bid is the maximum price you're willing to pay for 1,000 impressions. Since SiteScout RTV is an auction-based platform, the amount you actually pay will always be one cent over the next highest bidder. For instance, if your bid is set at $3 and the next highest bidder sets their bid at $1, then you will only pay $1.01 CPM. It's important to note that the default bid price applies to your entire campaign but can easily be overridden at a more granular level. For example, you can set the default bid to $3, but then set individual site or placement bids at a different price. Unless a different price is set, all sites and placements will inherit the default bid price. This will be covered in more detail later in this video series. The budget feature allows you to control the amount of money that your campaign will spend and has a few different options. If the budget is set to all time, the campaign will not spend more than the amount specified in its entire lifetime, regardless of how long it takes. Once the campaign has spent the all time budget, it'll stop running. In this example, our campaign will spend no more than $240. If the budget is set to daily, the amount you enter in the budget field will be spent each day until the end of your flight dates or until you turn your campaign off. Once the budget is hit for a single day, the campaign will stop running, but it'll start again the next day and spend the same amount of money. In this example, our campaign will spend $240 each day. The Even Delivery feature, which is also available for daily budget campaigns, allows you to spread out impression delivery evenly across a 24-hour period. In this example, the campaign will aim to spend $240 each day and within each day will attempt to evenly spend $10 each hour. Once bidding and budgeting is complete, you can proceed to the next step. You will notice that there is also an advanced section. However, these settings are optional and will be covered in separate videos.